Leptus Magna Great Leptus, or simply Leptus, known as Leda to modern-day residents of Libya, was a prominent city of the Roman Empire. It was also known as Lectus Magna or Lepsus Magna as variations in Latin, LPQY to ancient Berbers, and Neapolish to ancient Greeks. Today it is called as Lebida in transcriptions of Fusha Arabic. Magna means great in Latin, and the name Leptus Magna contrasts with Little Leptus, or Leptus Parva, in modern-day Tunisia. The ruins of Leptus Magna are located in Homs, Libya, 130 kilometers east of Tripoli, on the coast where the Wadi Leda meets the sea. The site is one of the most spectacular and unspoiled Roman ruins in the Mediterranean. History as a city the city appears to have been founded by a group of local Berbers sometime around 1000 BC, who gave it the libico berber name LPQY. The town did not achieve prominence until Carthage became a major superpower in the Mediterranean Sea in the 4th century BC. It nominally remained part of Carthage's dominions until the end of the Third Punic War in 146 BC and then became part of the Roman Republic. Although from about 111 BC onward, it was for all intents and purposes an independent city. During the reign of Augustus, Leptus Magna was classified as a civitas libera aeminis, or a free community, over which the governor had an absolute minimum of control. As such Leptus retained its two sufites at the head of its government, with the MHZM, similar to the Roman Edela, as minor magistrates. In addition there were such sacred officials as the Ada Arari Mor Praefectus Sacrorum, the Nequimilim, and probably a sacred college of 15 members. These offices were still in effective operation when Leptus was made a municipium, with a certain degree of Roman rights and privileges at some time, between 61 and 68 AD. During the rule of Nero, soon Italian merchants settled in the city and started a profitable commerce with the Libyan interior. The Republican Rome sent some colonists together with a small garrison in order to control the city. Since then the city started to grow and was even allowed to create its own money. Leptus Magna remained as such until the reign of the Roman Emperor Tiberius. When the city and the surrounding area were formally incorporated into the empire as part of the province of Africa, it soon became one of the leading cities of Roman Africa and a major trading post. Leptus achieved its greatest prominence beginning in 193 AD, when a Berber native son, Lucius Septimius Severus, became emperor. He favoured his hometown above all other provincial cities and the buildings and wealth he lavished on it made Leptus Magna the third most important city in Africa, rivaling Carthage and Alexandria. In 205 AD, he and the imperial family visited the city and received great honors. Among the changes that Severus introduced were to create a magnificent new forum and to rebuild the docks. The natural harbour had a tendency to silt up, but the Severan changes made this worse, and the eastern wharves are extremely well preserved. Since they were scarcely used, Leptus overextended itself at this period. During the crisis of the 3rd century, when trade declined precipitously, Leptus Magna's importance also fell into a decline, and by the middle of the 4th century, even before it was completely devastated by the 365 tsunami, large parts of the city had been abandoned. Aminus Marcellinus recounts that the crisis was worsened by a corrupt Roman governor named Romanus during a major tribal raid who demanded bribes to protect the city. The ruined city could not pay these and complained to the Emperor Valentinian. Romanus then bribed people at court and arranged for the Lepton envoys to be punished for bringing false accusations. It enjoyed a minor renaissance beginning in the reign of the Emperor Theodosius I. In 439 AD, Leptus Magna and the rest of the cities of Tripolitania fell under the control of the Vandals when their king, Geyseric, captured Carthage from the Romans and made it his capital. Unfortunately for the future of Leptus Magna, 
Geyser ordered the city's walls demolished so as to dissuade its people from rebelling against Vandal rule. The people of Leptis and the Vandals both paid a heavy price for this in 523 AD when a group of Berber raiders sacked the city. Belisarius recaptured Leptis Magna in the name of Rome ten years later, and in 534 AD, he destroyed the kingdom of the Vandals. Leptis became a provincial capital of the Eastern Roman Empire, but never recovered from the destruction wreaked upon it by the Berbers. It was the site of a massacre of Berber chiefs of the Luathi tribal confederation by the Roman authorities in 543 AD. Historian Theodore Momsen wrote that under Byzantine rule the city was fully Christian. During the decade 565-578, ad Christian missionaries from Leptis Magna even began to move once more among the Amazi tribes as far south as the Fezzin in the Libyan desert and converted the Garamantus. But the city's decadence, linked even to the Sahara's desertification, continued, even though new churches were built. And by the time of the Arab conquest of Tripolitania in the 650s, the city was nearly abandoned except for a Byzantine garrison force. The progressive growth of Arab land around Leptis damaged its importance and the port became full of sand. As a consequence, when Arabs arrived around 640 AD and later conquered Leptis, they found only a little garrison and a small city of less than 1,000 inhabitants. Under a Arab domination Leptis disappeared. By the 10th century the city was forgotten and fully covered by sand. History is a historical site. Today, the site of Leptis Magna is the site of some of the most impressive ruins of the Roman period. Part of an ancient temple was brought from Leptis Magna to the British Museum in 1816 and installed at the Fort Belvedere Royal Residence in England. In 1826, it now lies in part of Windsor Great Park. The ruins are located between the south shore of Virginia Water and Blacknest Road close to the junction with the A30 London Road and Wentworth Drive. When Italians conquered Italian Libya in the early 20th century, they dedicated huge efforts to the rediscovery of Leptis Magna. In the early 1930s Italian archaeological research was able to show again the buried remains of nearly all the city. 2005 Discoveries In June 2005, it was revealed that archaeologists from the University of Hamburg had been working along the coast of Libya when they uncovered a 30 feet length of five colorful mosaics created during the 1st or 2nd century. The mosaics show with exceptional clarity depictions of a warrior in combat with a dare, four young men wrestling a wild bull to the ground, and a gladiator resting in a state of fatigue and staring at his slain opponent. The mosaics decorated the walls of a cold plunge pool in a bathhouse within a Roman villa at Wadi Leda in Leptis Magna. The gladiator mosaic is noted by scholars as one of the finest examples of representational mosaic art ever seen, a masterpiece comparable in quality. With the Alexander mosaic in Pompeii, the mosaics were originally discovered in the year 2000 but were kept secret in order to avoid looting. They are currently on display in the Leptis Magna Museum. In the 2011 revolution there were reports that Leptis Magna was used as a cover for tanks and military vehicles by pro-Gaddafi forces during the 2011 Libyan Civil War. When asked about the possibility of conducting an air strike on the historic site, NATO refused to rule out the possibility of such an action saying that it had not been able to confirm the rebels' report that weapons were being hidden at the location, gallery, theatre, amphitheatre, marketplace, Arch of Septimius Severus, some of Leptis Magna yet to be excavated, one of the entrances to the theatre, view on Leptis Magna from the theatre wall, street view, marketplace, Marketplace, Measure Converter, Market, Severan Basilica, Leptis Magna, 2nd century AD, Stairs inside Septimius Severus Basilica, Decorative Columns inside Basilica of Septimius Severus, Severan Basilica, Forum in Leptis Magna, 2nd century AD, Bibliography, Bullo, Silvia, 
Provencia Africa, La Chita Real Territorio da la Cajuta di Cartagena Neron, Editor Lirame di Brett Schneider, Roma, 2002 ISBN 8882651681, De Miro, Ernesto and Antonella Polito, Leptus Magna, Di Siani di Scavi Archeologici nell'area del Foro Vecchio. I live a Fenisai, Punisai Romani. Lurame di Brett Schneider, Rom 2005, ISBN 88-8265-309-9. Floriani Square Chapino, Maria. Leptus Magna. Raggi, Basel 1966. Craig and Bomb, Detlev, Leptus Magna Vorder Arabus Chen Arabi Rung, in Detlev Craig and Bomb, Franz Christoph Muth, Joe Erg Thielman, Arabisha Christen, Christen in Arabian, 35-54, Momsen, Theodore, The Provinces of the Roman Empire, Barnes and Noble Ed, New York, 2003, Robin, Daniel, The Early Churches in North Africa, Tamarisk Publications, Chester, 1993 ISBN 9780953856534 Richard Talbot Barrington Atlas of the Greek and Roman World P. 35 Tomlinson, Richard A. From Mycenae to Constantinople The Evolution of the Ancient City New York Rutledge, ISBN 0-203-72114-4